Here, we'll go through an example of finding the oxidation number of each element in a polyatomic ion. We're asked to find the oxidation number of each element in the ion with the formula H2PO2-. We'll start by writing the formula up here, and a table here for the oxidation number of each element. The assigned oxidation number of hydrogen in a compound or polyatomic ion is positive 1. This is not a peroxide compound or molecular oxygen, so the oxidation number of oxygen is negative 2. We don't know what the oxidation number of phosphorus is, so we'll call it x. The oxidation number of a hydrogen atom is positive 1, so two hydrogen atoms have a total charge of 2 times positive 1. The oxidation number of a phosphorus atom we've called x. So below phosphorus, we'll write plus x. The oxidation number of an oxygen atom is negative 2. So the total charge on two oxygen atoms is 2 times negative 2. The net charge on this ion, shown on the top right of the formula, is minus 1. So the charges on all the atoms add up to negative 1. Now we solve this equation for x to find the oxidation number of phosphorus in this ion. 2 times positive 1 is equal to 2. We write x here. And 2 times negative 2 is equal to negative 4. So we write minus 4 here. And these add up to negative 1. Positive 2 and negative 4 add up to negative 2. So we can say that x minus 2 is equal to negative 1. Adding 2 to both sides of the equation gives us x equals negative 1 plus 2, which is equal to positive 1. So we can say that the oxidation number of phosphorus in this ion is equal to positive 1. If you want a copy of the whole solution to this problem, you can pause the video, take a screenshot, and print it. So we can now summarize by saying the oxidation number of hydrogen in this ion is positive 1. The oxidation number of phosphorus is also positive 1. And the oxidation number of oxygen is negative 2.